Hello everyone, it's Anna here and I have another process video for you today and it will be very, very unusual because I'm creating an art journal page. I have only one art journal and it has like six years and I still have few pages left in this art journal. Mm, it was a handmade journal uh, that was a gift for my friend Kasia. And I started with covering my pages with gesso because uh, the paper in those uh, in this art journal is not a watercolor paper, um, so it can handle a lot of water. That's why I have to protect the surface using gesso. And now I am sketching uh, faces. I am using this Kohinor. I think it's spelled Kohinor. Uh, pencil that it, it can be activated uh, with water so uh, when you are starting adding another wet layers it spreads it moves and it creates shades it's a really pretty uh, effect if you like those kind of effects and I'm sketching just random faces I am not an artist I don't do faces uh, at all but i was so inspired by all the um, fairies and faces i seen uh, on the instagram i am following me in the lace field jane davenport and irid landgraf and they all shared uh, all those pretty faces lately and i thought i have to try and i must admit although my faces are not perfect pretty and stunning I think I got it. I will be uh, drawing addicted and I already purchased uh, one of the Jane Davenport classes so I will be trying uh, trying my <laughs> my uh, my hand with drawing the faces and I am almost done sketching. Some of the faces look nice, some of the faces are horrible. I was just randomly trying to sketch different uh, shapes, uh, different types of uh, eyes. Um, I'm not sure, this is not one of my favorite pages, but I thought I will show, show you it because you know, you have to learn somehow and somewhere. You just don't wake up and draw fantastic uh, people just like that. Maybe if you have a great talent, you do. But I do not have a great talent. So all I uh, can is to practice, practice, practice. And this page is for practicing. Um, and my uh, faces are ready. I decided to keep it all on the video the whole process that's why the video will be a little bit longer and i am using a shimmers paint mostly uh, creamies and aqua hues uh, and i will apply them on my faces uh, using layer by layer um, painting faces painting hair um, you will see everything on that video uh, I have uh, also I have all of, I have to warn you also that applying watercolors on a gessoed surface is quite different than applying watercolors on a watercolor paper. They do not work uh, the same way uh, when the gesso is <laughs> on the surface. And my uh, surface is also a little bit ruffled, so the paint spills and groups. Uh, into the ruffled uh, areas that's why I have to use um, uh, paper towels and I have to use a heat gun to heat things to dry things because they were moving around the paper they didn't want to stay where I wanted them to stay and I am using um, for right now the aqua hues uh, colors called Old. let me check no it was a creamy cheeky pink the light pink that I used uh, to color the face and then I used uh, aqua hues hot pink and aqua hues are the watercolors without any shimmer and they will be discontinued uh, so you won't be able to buy them but you will find uh, 
very similar colors at creamies and inklings and they uh, have this uh, shimmer so they also look pretty I just work with what I have and now I am adding a red color it's a um, color called sing red it's also an aqua hues and as you can see I have to be careful with adding water because the color is spreading uh, to the side of the paper but I am fighting <laughs> I don't have any other journal I already ordered new one uh, from Jane Davenport uh, but it's not um, at my doorstep yet uh, and I first wanted to try it if I would ever like drawing faces and stuff like that and I like and I will so <laughs> be warned um, now I am using a grey color this color is called thunderstorm it's a creamy it's a creamy and I really like this color it has this beautiful shimmer and with the aqua hues and creamies and inklings you have to activate it with water they come in those little jars they are solid and you have to spray uh, a water over them and just wait uh, for the color to uh, be activated to be soaked a little bit so it will be much easier to use them and now I'm doing hair uh, over my gears and I use this brown color called Kappa Joe it's an aqua hues and now I am applying I think it's an old yellow color from Inklings Um, I really don't know how to draw hair so I'm just trying with different uh, types of hair and um, I'm not happy with all of them, especially the curly hairs. And now I was trying to make a ginger hair uh, for this little girl. The color wo uh, the color is called the color is called I don't remember for carrots. I think something like that. I didn't write it down because I'm now reading the colors to you. Um, and the black color i don't have any black uh, aqua hues or creamies so i used a black mist the mist is a spritz and it's called before dawn and it has this slight shimmer and it's very dark very pretty and i just sprayed it over the plastic color palette and i'm applying it with a brush uh, it really works like a watercolor too and as you can see I am using my heat gun to dry the steps down um, because thanks to that the colors will not mix but remember that when you apply color over gesso and you apply another color on the color applied on gesso you can still activate it, the color uh, mostly because it doesn't soak into the paper so be careful with that it can be an advantage or a disadvantage depending on what you want to achieve and now I'm just trying to add uh, some shades and colors those are hmm, blue moon and very blueberry uh, aqua hues I'm trying to uh, make uh, eyes but <laughs> Uh, I am doing this in steps um, because I don't want the colors to mix um, and I have this old yellow color in my hand and basically I'm going back to the colors I already used I am adding a flower into the hats of this girl and uh, I am adding more shades uh, over the pink uh, more pink pink over the cheeks <laughs> sorry uh, I should really take some English classes or be um, uh, or or be more I don't know how to say it in English uh, you know <laughs> more careful during my classes uh, of English many many years ago the last time I was actually learning English was in 2000 hmm, 2002 <laughs> I think uh, so as you can see it's been 15 years since that uh, luckily I didn't forget uh, everything and now I 
I'm not a best in English, but uh, I really, really hope you can understand me. Um, and I'm just adding shades on the uh, on the eyes, on the lips, using this black mist called uh, called Before Dawn. If you are looking for a nice black mist color, this one is uh, for you, I am sure. And now the curls uh, on the heads of this <laughs> Snow White. Um, no, I am not happy with how it looks. I don't know how to make curl curls. And uh, now I will be making a background using um, Vibes called Princess. It's the purple one and the Jenny B. Blue. It's the blue one. I'm just painting uh, the area between my girls um, because I don't want it to stay this uh, white. Uh, and I'm doing the same on the other page. Uh, I really like to use mists like a watercolors. It, it can spread your supplies so so uh, much, so you can uh, have new colors uh, just using uh, mists. And the shimmers mists are really great for that because they are not thick. Um, with uh, let's say high swap mists, uh, they are quite thick, uh, like. Um, the stains they make are also like a little bit dimensional so uh, it's not easy to paint them with uh, like a watercolor but uh, the shimmers uh, mist are really great for that and after i dried my background i am adding um, some details using a black liner black pen uh, it's a waterproof pen uh, from from <laughs> I forgot let me check it where is it from but uh, it's a micron pen uh, by Pigma but um, I think it's because of the gesso or maybe the shimmer it got stuck and it, it stopped drawing so I took a uh, other black pen but it wasn't that good because the color was spreading around but it was just an experiment so I thought well <laughs> what happens it happens I have no control over it so I'm just adding details with uh, uh, eyes and hair and shadow and stuff like that um, I will also paint a second girl later after I finish this video the second girl will be I think much better uh, it will be only one girl over the page and it will be bigger but I like her much more than the girls I painted here but as I said you have to learn somehow and somewhere and this is how I tried to learn and uh, I am walking over my background right now adding some doodling um, flowers and stuff like that I didn't have any particular idea I just wanted to to make something uh, to for the background not to look so boring sorry I have a tough time today speaking my English and uh, you have to remember that when you play the order in the shimmer shop you can mention my name it's Anna and you will get a free mini product uh, with your order and this is how uh, it works and these are those are the close-ups of my uh, art journal projects and I don't know why they are not moving oh I know because I forgot to create a slideshow with them sorry for that <laughs> You will have them like that today and this is the girl I told you that the second girl and the cute cat I like the cat the most and thank you for watching um, and I hope you will feel uh, inspired by uh, my projects bye bye